Sonia and welcome to Red Cardinal Kitchen. Today I would like to show you how we at Red Cardinal Kitchen makes this delicious onion with pasta, chicken and bean soup. It is the perfect comfort food. It's made with other ingredients like leafy greens, herbs and spices to give it a unique flavor and it is hearty. So watch Red Cardinal Kitchen's tutorial all the way through so you can make this easy recipe for your family. All right, so stay with us and after the break, we'll be right back. Welcome back. Well, thank you for subscribing, liking, clicking that bell, and sharing so you won't miss out. If you have any questions, go to our YouTube homepage and check the About section for details. For our merch store, click on the Store tab. You will find products for men, women, kids, and babies accessories, stickers, and the list is growing. Also, the ingredients and directions for this recipe will be in the description below. All right, so let's do this. All right, so we're gonna get started with our soup. And got a hot skillet, take the lid off. And we're going to start out with getting those poor little herbs are going to get hot in a minute. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we'll just kind of fish them out here. So I want those in dry heat with the spices. So, stick that right there. And we'll just now there won't be any oil, any butter, anything like that. No sugar. And the salt comes from the onion soup mix. And uh, the rest is vegetables and, and water and all that beautiful flavor. And at the very end, we'll go ahead and put some pasta in there. Good. You could probably even put potatoes in here, but I thought my skillet's big, but I don't know if it's that big. All right, so those are heating. I can smell them going. Next thing I wanna do is put in some chicken. This is boneless thighs. It's two cups or two large size. Put this way over here. Now I'm going to stir it a little bit with the spice and then I'm just going to put it to this one side and let it sit because the proteins are going to hook onto that heat and I don't want to tear it up. So with that I'm going to add just a little bit of water on this side. And now I have my vegetables. This is uh, some zucchini and I've got it sitting in water uh, with lemon to keep it fresh. And it'll probably be messy, but I'm gonna do it this way anyway. So, and we'll just scatter those around. And then the beans and the noodles can go in last. I just want to get some of these heavier, hearty vegetables going. And we have celery. Oops, my mat down there. Celery and peppers. Salt. All right. Give them kind of a toss. See how the chicken's still hooked? <laughs> All right, now, 
let's see. Now I know that kale, when it cooks, it loses that pretty green, but I want it fully cooked because I want to get those vitamins out of there. Now if you like it a little bit uh, more greener, put it in at the very end. But it's going in now here. <laughs> All right. Getting quite a bit of things here. All right. Still being okay. And the last thing I want to do. Now this is wet. It's a paper towel, and I keep it over the top so that um, the air still doesn't get to it, even though. It's got lemon juice and water. So in, this is about four cups of cabbage. And that will all go in here. So if there's a little bit of lemon juice in that, that's okay. I'm going to add water and it gives us some flavor anyway. So, we check that chicken. Oh, it's free. Now I can turn it. <laughs> okay. So, now we'll just stir it. Yeah. As it gets more cooked, we'll come back and we'll stir some more. Okay, let's see. Now, I don't want to put in my pasta or my beans now. So, I'm going to add some water. And you can decide how much water you want in yours. If you make this recipe, you can make it a stew or a soup. And I just want the vegetables and some broth, a little bit of protein. Now, if you don't want to use the chicken, I have chicken and I want to use it up, but you can just use strictly beans, peas, rice, potatoes. If you are a uh, vegetarian or whole food plant-based, uh, where you are not able to have oils, uh, dairy, uh, animal proteins, you can go all vegetable protein. All you have to do is remove the chicken here and you've got your meal. So I'm going to put a lid on here. <coughs> and when that comes up, it's set at 300. When that comes up to a slight bubble, I will turn it down. And I'm going to cook it for about oh, 10 minutes. And we'll be back to add the rest of it. All right, you take your break. All right, and the time is up. The six minutes has passed. Off goes the lid, and in goes the macaroni, or whatever pasta you want to put in there. It's in a little puddle of, of the uh, onion soup mix and the vegetable broth. And then I still, I guess I will add my beans. They won't tear up too badly. I'll just kind of hide them over the top of that pasta. All right, so it takes anywhere between 9 and 12 minutes. I'll check in 9, and when it's ready, we'll come back and we'll have a taste test. All right, well, we're back, and it is time for our taste test. All right. Let's see, I have my pot holder. Let's take off the lid. Oh, that's nice. And I didn't want to stir it up to break it up so you could see the arrangement here. But now you can see that the noodles have cooked underneath the beans. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get me some. I'll have a little bit of beans. And if you are eating beans uh, for your meals, try to stay within a half cup. 
too much protein is not good for the kidneys. But don't go over one cup. You can go up to one cup. There we go. And that's per day. Well, let's see. Some peppers, and then I want some of that nice broth. All right. And, oops, I didn't get any kale or a little piece of zucchini there. All right. Well, that looks nice. So let's take a taste. Oh, and also, now I like, and you don't have to do this, but I love vinegar, and it's a probiotic with my beans. And so I'm just going to put just a little bit over the top for flavor. And it'll hit that cabbage. It's really good. And then also, I have a little bit of nutritional yeast. Now, I know that I have beans, and I have the chicken in there, so I really don't need this as a protein. But I like the nutty flavor, so I have it for my topping. It takes the place of Parmesan. All right, so now I'll go ahead and take that taste. Mm, mm hmm Nice chicken broth with that onion soup mix in there, the beans, got the peppers, all these vegetables, carrots, cabbage, celery, everything you can <laughs> think of in the produce is in here. Mm. With that nice pasta, and of course my toppings, and then serve it with a crusty piece of bread. So let's take a bite. It's from the freezer. It's held up all these days <laughs> since the last time we made it together. That might be a little bit too much butter on there. Oops. And it's very tender. Mm. The country is in me. I dip my bread. Mm. Only at home. <laughs> All right. Well, that is a hearty meal. I hope you watched the entire film. So I want you to make it right. So uh, it's easy. It's not a big thing. I don't think it's very many minutes anyway. So, but anyway, watch the whole thing. <laughs> You'll be glad that you did. And tell your family hello for me. All right. Well, thank you for watching and supporting our channel. We appreciate it. Because when you subscribe, like, and share, and click that bell, that helps us get more videos out to you, including our free recipes, like this one today. So, if you go to our website, redcardinalkitchen.com, you can get all the free recipes we upload to YouTube. So go over there. So for every step of the way, happy eating, and God bless, and we'll see you on the flip side. Goodbye now.